I start with just a plain piece of white paper, watercolor paper, and then I spray it with just plain water. Now I'm going to let this dry till it's almost damp, but not soaking wet like it is now. The paper um, is still quite damp, but I want to start, I'm using a watercolor pencil here, and I'm going to do a brief sketch in just kind of really quick to um, get where I want some of my things to be. Okay, so this is going to be my wild chicken here. Keeping it real loose. I'm going to start at the top of the chicken and work my way down. Um, simply because of the way water drips, I think that's going to work out best. By working wet onto wet, it's just going to bleed right in there. Do some negative space painting here, kind of to get the wild feathers that I want to get for this chicken. I'll decide what to do with the background later, if anything. I may just leave it white. That's the nice thing about watercolor paper. You can leave it white. White, white really works. <laughs> I want the eyes to be yellow, and so I'm going to add more yellow right into this area. I'll go put more detail in later because the eyes will be prominent. Oops, I knew I was going to catch that little drip. This is the beak, or where the beak will be. I'm going to let that dry before I add the, I'm not sure what the name of it is, the little things that hang down on the chicken. You can see I go back and add more colors. While that's drying, I'm going to go play around with chicken feet. <laughs> 